It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Friday, the 3rd of February. I'm James Spann. The sky clearing today. Weather looks bright and sunny tomorrow as the weekend begins. And next week could be fairly active with a robust system coming in here Tuesday. Let's dive in and talk about it. As we often do, we'll start with the water vapor satellite view and it's a zonal flow. There's a surface boundary over South Alabama, drifting south. And in the cooler air, we have a touch of light rain early this morning. That was a radar at 458. You can see a few little patches of light rain through central Alabama. That will be shifting southward today. And again, I think the sky clears. Most people over the northern half of the state should be in sunshine this afternoon. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 30s and 40s. Haleyville, 37. Birmingham, 43. We will struggle to reach 50 today, but if the sun breaks out, we should uh, be at 50 by mid-afternoon. A dense fog advisory for parts of southeast and south Alabama. That'll be burning off by mid-morning. Convective outlook today. Maybe some thunder for northern California, southeastern Oregon, but again, a very quiet pattern, convectively speaking, for much of the country. This is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday morning of next week. For our state, about one inch for the north, one half inch for the south. And the bulk of that will be coming in here Tuesday and Tuesday night of next week. So let's discuss things. This is the GFS, the 06C run at noon today. Again, a zonal flow and uh, the sky should begin to clear with that 1038 high nosing in from the north. Uh, morning clouds, some light rain in spots this morning, the sky becoming sunny this afternoon, and again, the high around 50. Tomorrow, a dry, sunny day. Now, we start the day in the mid to upper 20s. I'd say somewhere between 25 and 29, so a sub-freezing morning, but the high will be in the middle 50s. Kind of a nice winter day. Now, Sunday, clouds move in, and we could see some rain with a better chance maybe coming very early Sunday morning. The GFS not showing much. Now, this is the high-res NAM valid at 3 a.m. Sunday, and it's showing uh, some light rain passing through North Alabama. And then by noon, the bulk of that will be south of Interstate 20. So we'll mention the chance of a little scattered light rain Sunday morning, but uh, probably not much. Other than that, Sunday should be a mostly cloudy day, and the high should be in the upper 50s. Monday, again, cloudy, maybe a few showers, the high creeping up into the 60s. But Tuesday, a fairly significant storm system forms with a deep surface low southwest of Chicago, trailing cold front down to Shreveport. Tuesday looking mild and breezy, a good chance we see low 70s. And those showers and storms will likely creep in here by afternoon. This is Tuesday night at midnight. The surface low is near Detroit. And again, still deepening. And that's a whopper of a blizzard snowstorm for parts of the Great Lakes region that this verifies. And obviously, with a surface low that deep, there might be some strong storms. Of course, the, the main surface low pretty far north, but let's just look at the uh, severe weather parameters just to see. This is the instability, the surface-based cape at 6 o'clock Tuesday evening. And those numbers are not especially impressive. There's just not much instability. But the shear very high, and, you know, that's what often happens this time of the year, low cape, high shear. This is the energy helicity index, and... It's about one to two units with the max values over West Alabama and central Mississippi. So we'll have to watch for strong storms, maybe severe storms. And again, this is Tuesday of next week. We've got several days to watch this. But with the main surface low and the better dynamic support north of here, that might be a limiting factor. But again, anytime you have this high shear locate thing, you have to watch it. Wednesday. Surface low moves up into Canada. We are cooler and dry with a high in the 50s. And this is Thursday. A 1037 high settles in. We'll probably see highs dropping back in the 40s. Uh, the low would be around the freezing mark. And this is a week from today. Friday the 10th, the trough sweeping off to the east. Pretty chilly air mass in place. Uh, I think we'll do 20s and 40s out there toward the end of next week. And, and it will be dry. You know, that the GFS showed that rogue system Thursday. That's off the board and the European never showed that so the end of next week looking dry these are the anomalies on Friday pretty chilly air for the eastern half of the country 
This is the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday the 12th. Again, a a trough passing north of the state. Another cold front coming through with a chance of some light rain. Check the numbers off the European. We warm up early next week. And toward the end of next week, it's got 54 on Thursday and Friday. I think it'll be colder than that. Uh, By Friday of next week, I think we'll see highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s. And beyond that, temperatures looking pretty close to average for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Can catch us this evening on the live stream or on TV, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.